From the KMAX Storm Team Weather Lab, here's meteorologist Alex O'Brien. Welcome back, everybody. So on Tuesday, the Woodrow Volunteer and Slayton Fire Departments spent more than an hour battling a grass fire here near FM 41 in Indiana. You can see the charred land here from this aerial footage. Now, neighbors do tell us that two storage sheds and a travel trailer did burn. Now, typically, though, our fire weather season does peak here in the winter months and early spring, and that's our dry weather season. So it's not abnormal to start to see more fires here gradually in the next several months. Now, today we are seeing uh, elevated to critical fire weather conditions, especially into the Panhandle. And in the Panhandle region, more towards Amarillo, there are red flag warnings in place today. We do not that have that here on the South Plains. Doesn't mean fires can't start. Now, we are still elevated with our fire weather conditions tomorrow. And what this basically means is because we're in our dry season and we have not had much precipitation, yes, fires can start like the one we saw yesterday. But when we have fire weather conditions, that's where the fires can spread more rapidly with low humidity, dry fuels, and uh, stronger wind gusts. So today, temperatures are above average to 68. It'll be a beautiful day to head outside. You really don't have to worry about fire danger here day by day, but it's something to be aware of here as we spend the next several uh, months in that season. We'll be breezy with southwest winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. So, Looking at our wind forecast, we do expect that 20 mile per hour range here through the afternoon today, where we do have red flag warnings north of us, that's where the winds will be stronger. Uh, today we could see gusts near 30 miles per hour. On Thursday, the wind shifts more so to our area, sustained in the 25, maybe up to 30 mile per hour range, and we could see gusts tomorrow near 40 miles per hour. So will be a couple of breezy days for us. Uh, maybe some periods of blowing dust tomorrow. Today, though, not likely to see that. 68 degrees for our high this afternoon for Lubbock, Plainview, and O'Donnell. And we could squeeze out some low 70s in our western zones. Southwest winds will carry in some nice warm air for us. And we'll also see clouds increase from the west as well. Tonight, quite cool, but well above average to the upper 30s and low 40s. Uh, Morning that you will need a jacket tomorrow, but Valentine's Day will all be all about layering. We'll see mid 70s back on the forecast for us, even maybe some 80s towards Gale and Snyder, a warm one for sure. And the warmest conditions will be east of the Cap Rock tomorrow. So, taking a look at our 70 forecast, that's where we expect the clouds to remain partly cloudy through Friday. Also, those temperatures peaking and staying in the 70s by Thursday and Friday. Notice that we have either breezy or windy conditions from now until Saturday. That's where we expect elevated fire weather conditions. If we have any warnings or advisories for that, we'll let you know. Then into the end of the weekend, into next week, that's where we're expecting our next cool down back to more winter-like temperatures. Definitely such good reminders about the fire weather this time of year. Yeah. We see it time and again, uh, but really that shot that you showed from overhead where you see that grass fire yeah. spreading so rapidly, got to keep that image in mind before you yeah. do anything that could create a spark. I mean, it's just such a visual reminder to be extra careful. And a visual reminder, if you do see any smoke on the horizon in the next several months, it probably shouldn't be there. So just call your fire department and let them know. I will say that fire yesterday I could see from the south loop. So yeah. it could definitely be seen across the city. And definitely, we always say it, but if you see something, say something. So yeah. important. Thanks for tracking it for us, Alex. We appreciate it.